All right, so what we're going to talk about right now is how to do alternate picking. And then once we get the alternate picking down, we're going to do the one, two, three, four exercise. Uh, first things first with alternate picking is how you hold the pick. Since we're going to be picking individual strings, it's important to hold the pick uh, so that way we're not showing a whole bunch of, of the pick. As you can see, or maybe you can't see, there's not a whole lot of pick showing right now. Then, once you have a good grip on the pick, you want to make sure that your the other side, your finger is not past your thumb. Once you do that, we're going to go down, and then up, down, and up. You're alternating between going down and up. Okay? So you'll do that on all of the strings. Okay, once you got that down, then we'll do the one, two, three, four exercise. The one, two, three, four exercise is in reference to using your one finger on the first fret, your two finger on the second fret, three finger on the third fret, and your fourth finger on the fourth fret. Alright, so using the alternate picking, we'll just go down for one. So one, up for two, down for three, up for four. The important thing is when, when fretting is to make sure that you get your finger as close to the fret as you can, but you don't want to go past the fret. You want to make sure that you still have some fret showing. All right, that's to give, your, your, give you more leverage when you're pushing down on the, the fret board. And then also, it's so that way you don't have to push down as hard uh, when you're playing. So, this would be a good fret position for the first finger, for the two finger, the three finger, and the four finger. With the one, two, three, four exercise, it's really important that you spread your fingers out and keep them in the same position the whole time while you're going down all of the strings. Uh, a lot of people tend to... Uh, put their fingers together uh, when they're say at the, the first fret they'll, they'll bring all their fingers together or if they're at the fourth fret they'll bring them all together at this this side of things the goal is to keep your fingers spread out the whole time something that may help with that is to make sure that these two fingers are where they need to be then you can put your one finger and your forefinger where it needs to go so here's the exercise. We're going to go down, up, down, up using the alternate picking. And then you're going to go on the, the first beat. You're going to go on the first fret, second beat, second fret, third beat, third fret, fourth beat, fourth fret. And we're going to do that on all six strings. So we'll go one, two, ready, go.